16.50 to go here first half. Chrisman beating the press and lays it off flat. Excellent job beating the press. There you go, one pass, one feed to the middle. This is a guy who scored a lot of points early in the season. Haverkamp on the floor, saved it to Christian Thomas for two. Nice basket right there by Thomas. At Green Bay, just trying to find some different bodies to see if, like you said, they can give them a spark. And Cleveland Melvin able to connect from the outside for three. Seven to shoot. They go inside to Gibbler against Faber. Puts it up with the left hand and scores. And finally, we see the Ramblers run their offense. He puts it up and it goes right over the hoop. McKinney in transition against Brito, lays it up. No, but the stick back dunk by McGee. What a tremendous <laughs> athletic play. When Bill Barron's our good buddy, the Loyola assistant AD, director of communications, personally brings you the stat sheet over during a timeout. Billy was out of breath. He was, as Joe Grisman with a nice layup. Brito went for the three, no good, but gets the tip back from Abercamp. Nice pass into the paint for Gibbler. Just over 10 minutes to go in the midst of a 17 to one run and Gibbler scores oh. and one again. Walt Gibbler. Point deficit for points off of turnovers. I mean, it, this has swung dramatically, Jordan, in and the second half and again another basket. And it's thanks to Walt Gibbler. Oh. Of Loyola's 43 points and off the steal. Here comes Chrisman to the rack. Lays it up, no, but Abercamp with the dunk to follow it up. Inside, Faber dunks it home. Nobody there underneath with nowhere to go. Now Abercamp, jumper, no good. Gibbler the board. Gibbler will go back up and lays it in. What an incredible job by Walt Gibbler all night. As Brito will pick it up, three seconds, two, puts up a three, no good. Abercamp the board, but that will do it. But if I had told you at halftime that Loyola would lose this game by just 11 points, you probably would have thought we were crazy. But an incredible second half effort, and DePaul wins the game by the score 69 to 58.